Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Newland and I teach IB Astronomy at Beller High School along with AP Physics C uh, and I wanted to introduce myself and talk a little bit about the course and uh, I'm going to start with the first thing I start with in class every day which is the astronomy picture of the day. This is Sunday's image because that's when I'm recording this video uh, since I can't be with you guys and uh, this is a very cool picture of Saturn you can see a shadow of one of the moons uh, down here you can see the rings are edge on this is a false color image you can actually see some of the structure in the atmosphere uh, there's a really big storm there I start with this every day and I don't know what it's gonna be when I you know start the day it's gonna be they don't announce it the day before they every night at midnight it gets published and so it's new to me, sometimes it's like cutting edge stuff, like when they imaged uh, the black hole in the center of a galaxy last year, that was something we were able to, the day it happened, it was, you know, something we could talk about. Sometimes it's stuff like this, the Voyager missions and Pioneer missions and moon landing and uh, uh, sometimes it's SpaceX and it's just a, a way to focus the class every day. Um, plus it's something interesting. It quite often doesn't have anything at all to do with about that day's to do with that day's topic so uh um yeah i just like to start with the astronomy picture of the day every day because they're cool and they're fun and the kids like to talk about them and they like to ask me questions and uh, i will talk a lot more about this but i don't have time so make sure and go look at a pod today so i'm just going to go through the syllabus kind of quickly this is a course that's part of the ib diploma program but we don't at bel-air restrict it to people who are only in the IB program. It is a five point course and therefore the math rigor is a little bit higher than it would be if it were just a regular astronomy course. Um, I would admit though, as the AP Physics C teacher, that I don't think the algebra that we do is too intense, uh, but some of the students who don't take a lot of advanced courses may disagree. Uh, it's a class where I have, you know, like the valedictorian and the top 10% kids and, AP kids and IB kids and kids who are just looking to take a cool fun science class and maybe to challenge themselves they see IB and they're not quite sure and they jump in there so the course is meant for everybody and um, I you know I offer experiences I have to differentiate the class quite often for uh, the, the kids who are maybe not as uh, into rigorous math and those who are like man this is not that much math and everybody's in the class and I actually think that's one of the coolest things about the class is that we're all in there together and we got to learn how to make it work for everybody uh, the course uses an online textbook and it's really really good it's from a university professor in a, a small school in California but the professor is really well known in astronomy education and it's free and it's fantastic and it's linked there um, I have a lot of course information on my website, but if you go there, you may find that a lot of the stuff is geared towards astronomy teachers because I'm also uh, sort of a, an activist for astronomy education nationally, and I have a lot of shared resources there. So it's something I, I really enjoy doing. Um, this is a class that I, I have to use the IB curriculum, but the first semester is like the night sky, history of astronomy, planetary science, uh, space exploration, solar system formation, exoplanets, uh, and then about the sun. And then next semester, well, I guess I could show you. You can see in the fall semester what I'm going to cover. Uh, there's quite a bit of physics coming up. We have orbits and gravity, and then we're going to do radiation and spectra. Uh, next semester, I get into things like black holes, expansion of the universe, how stars form and die, supernovae. Um, there's quite a bit of quantum mechanics that I've managed to work into the class and relativity without too much math. Um, and considering that how much of this uh, science class really requires access to data, but we can't, like in physics, I can make videos and students can interact with physical objects in class and get high quality data. In astronomy, it's harder. So we will use a lot of real world data from NASA and the European Space Agency and things like that. We'll also use a lot of simulations, which means they need a computer, either a school computer or their own. A Chromebook usually works fine. I don't think a tablet would work, but I mean, whatever. I can probably figure out a way to make it work. 
Um, a lot of the labs are things that I have experienced myself in terms of data, and I will often reach out to scientists and ask questions about how to take their sort of really heavy science topics with a lot of math that even I couldn't do very well and how to turn it into something to do in class. Uh, so that's something I really like doing. So you'll hear the students talk about uh, data from missions like the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer and uh, the Kepler spacecraft and the Gaia spacecraft. And yeah, the, all those are things we'll actually work with in class. So uh, there is a calendar if you want to see when tests are going to happen or what topics I'm covering. I also put uh, astronomical events that I do for the class, like star parties or other outreach events up there, by the way. Uh, October 5th is International Observe the Moon Night. At least I hope it's October 5th. Uh, it's um, going to be at school and it's open to everybody. So be sure um, to ask your, your kid about that. I almost said student. Uh, which reminds me of the Remind service, which you're more than welcome to join if you're interested in doing any of the... I do a lot of outreach. I've done stuff for the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I've done stuff for the Rice University Observatory. Uh, I've done stuff with the Houston Astronomical Society. I, you know, the school has telescopes, I have telescopes. So any of those kind of events I'd like to share with the students, anything that's upcoming, anything that's cutting edge, anything that's, you know, SpaceX or space exploration or anything like that. I like to share that on Remind. So some parents like to have that too. The star parties are all open to the public. Parents can come, siblings can come. So please join us. Um, and then we use the UT homework service. I don't think the homework problems are all that difficult. Uh, most of the time we work on them in class and I'll answer questions about them. So it's not like it's uh, the students at home, you know, at 1130 when the homework is due at midnight cramming, even though that definitely does happen. Uh, this class is fun and I am quite passionate about it. Even though it's part of the IB diploma program, I started this class years ago. I started at Bel Air in 1996 and I became the IT director for seven years and at the end of that seven years i didn't want to do it anymore i wanted to teach oh well, i was teaching part-time that whole time and when i the principal said you know you need to transition out of this because we need someone full-time to do it what do you think you might want to do and i just took a shot in the dark and said i want to do IB, i want to do astronomy and so i got to make it up and uh, it's been a work in progress i think that was 2008 something like that uh so yeah this has been a class i really enjoy uh, um, it's the kind of thing that students get a lot out of. Oh, and it's meant to look and feel like you'd see at a university level astronomy class. It's not meant for majors. Like it's not a physics course. It's not astrophysics. Uh, but you know, there's math here and there. So, uh, be sure to encourage your students to, uh, come to the outside events cause it's really cool to see the stars in the Houston area. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Generally, parents don't have a problem doing that. My uh, email address is probably the best thing to do, which is on the Bel Air website. And all of the stuff that I share, anything I create, you can have access to. Nothing is meant to be secret. Make sure your students do have a calculator, even though I do provide them quite often. I use a graphing calculator on, on uh, the tests. And they need like a binder because we have a lot of, we, you know, we write a lot of uh, notes. And there's quite a bit of math here and there. So. Um, spiral notebook binder something with pockets um will work okay be sure to reach out to me if you have any questions thanks